welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back, one. Welcome back. Today we have more news from the crypto community. Something we are very excited on. Just recently, Minnesota crypto adoption on the rise despite the bear market. Bitcoin still dominate the crypto space, and in second place, it's still Ethereum there. So I'm very more confident on Bitcoin since it dominate the crypto space. That is what people will be paying attention on, and we'll be following a Bitcoin metric in order to understand the dilemma and how crypto will correspond and react to Bitcoin. So. What is really gaining the momentum in Minnesota? Cryptocurrency is gaining more mainstream momentum in Minnesota duly with the rise in Bitcoin ATM. Right now, residents of Minnesota are able to purchase uh, Bitcoin through Bitcoin ATM. Unbanked citizens have been adopter of cryptocurrency used in the state. So if you want to buy uh, Bitcoin, through Bitcoin ATM, you don't need to register with state or just tell them here, here's my idea. There's no those of KYC procedure and requirement. So while regulators are still unclear, it appears that state uh, security agency is adopting the regulation by enforcing crypto ecto. So in some form or way, <clears throat> the state government going to adopt KYC procedure whenever a consumer wants to buy Bitcoin through Bitcoin ATM, but at um, now though we are still seeing mainstream adoption in Minnesota with unbanked citizens are now purchasing Bitcoin through Bitcoin ATM. That is very great here. Okay, recently though Coinbase just added Ethereum staking option for U.S. institutional client. This is very great for a uh, whale holder, especially with institutional client they manage like. Billion of billion of crypto assets under their management. That is very great though. With the ability to allow them to stake Ethereum, which is phenomenal. If they decide to allow a US institutional client to stake Bitcoin, that is way better than Ethereum though. So that is still what we are seeing and continue to see. But let, we still have more great news with Ethereum. Ethereum create history a key metric in Ethereum option exceed Bitcoin by 32%. So recently a lot of crypto investors have been talking about this upcoming Ethereum merge and how beneficial it could be to the Ethereum network. But recently though this new kind of shown that Ethereum is outpacing Bitcoin performance. Which I have been analyzing the crypto chart and, and I have seen it. And that Ethereum had been maintaining very strong above their crucial support level, may was able to beat their resistance level while Bitcoin on the other hand really underperformed the crypto market, really not outpacing or outperforming Ethereum as we should have recommended it should be. So there's still a lot of great news coming with Ethereum, new network being upgraded, a lot of promotion going on, but let's look for more. So right now, River Financial launches zero free recurring Bitcoin purchasing. This is awesome for recurring. So if you set up fifty dollar uh, Bitcoin purchase every week, so that you won't be charged any fee. That is good right here. The Bitcoin financial service provider will remove fee for a customer recurring Bitcoin purchase begin a week after the initial purchase. This is very crazy because right now. What we are seeing is adoption, and this is how institution, financial institution, are incentivizing their customer. Hey, we will dismiss all those fees if you uh, set up a recurrent buy. That's it. That is that is clear deal. Clear deal. River Financial is now offering the zero fee recurrent Bitcoin purchase order. That is very awesome. So they are now removing the fee associated with recurrent purchases of Bitcoin on a platform. The deduction of value starts from one week after the initial recurrent purchase is set by the customer. River currently offers Bitcoin management service through the website and iOS app, as well as white gloves service for Bitcoin mining. We are still seeing adoption, and this is how financial institutions are incentivizing customers. Hey, you guys have to come over here. We are giving you this great incentive. Zero fee. For you to set up a recurring Bitcoin purchase, that is phenomenal here. So something else, a lot of great metrics are coming in.
Bitcoin hold corner up by 40,000 since June crash began. A sharp fall in the cryptocurrency price in May and June appear to have coincided with the increase in wallet addressing, holding more than one Bitcoin. So despite the bear market, which we have seen in the month of May, July, June, July, due to three arrow uh, financial five bankruptcy, Luna Terra crash, and many other incidents too, such Voyager and Soldier, we are still seeing crypto holders who have strong belief that one day Bitcoin will recover above our forty thousand dollar crucial support level. As of now, though, we are still seeing faith in the crypto market despite the bear movement which we have been seeing within this past couple of days. Let's look here. Smaller Bitcoin investors have found a unique opportunity during the crypto slump to snap up their favorite cryptocurrency. The number of whole corner has surged by forty thousand since the June slump alone. According to Look Into Bitcoin, the number of Bitcoin whole corner has steadily increased since January 31st when the Bitcoin price was around $38,000. However, Bitcoin price fell around 27% in May and another 40% in June, the same month that saw 25,000 new wallets hold at least one whole Bitcoin. This is adoption. What we are seeing that crypto investors are now having faith in the crypto market despite the recent terrible bloodshed crypto take down. The number of wallet address holding at least one Bitcoin has jumped by 40,000 since the crash. This is very great, beautiful stuff as adoption continue to see. And uh, at one point in time, Bitcoin will bounce above our $40,000. So that's what we are still holding as long as people continue to hold, support Bitcoin. Okay, folks, so what is what going on with Bitcoin battling this uh, $23,500 resistance level? We have seen Bitcoin testing our 23000 resistance level win this past couple of days. So recently, Pelosi Taiwan trip kind of escalated the U.S.-Chinese uh, uh, tension and how our relationship had really fractured from there on due to the U.S. government are now backing up the Taiwanese government and holding solidarity due to an independent and uh, China really don't like that. That's what we are just seeing and a lot of geopolitical uncertainty and macroeconomic factors still playing in. But however, despite all that, there are still some derivatives showing a lack of confidence from the bull. So we are still seeing faith and believer in the market, but there's still something we have to be holding on because things could change uh, 360 as of now though. But Let's look here. This is our last metric to analyze the crypto market. Bitcoin network activity declines suggest longer bear market. It could be or it could not be. But recently with geopolitical tension, it could be exacerbate this uh, idea of the Bitcoin entering a longer bear market and the bear market could last a couple days, a couple months from now. So things are still a bit uncertain, but even though we are still seeing great metrics coming in from different different uh, uh, media coverage and how the crypto community are now accepting this and this is what we are just seeing and adoption is still the key here so in the end though, i hope everyone enjoy watching my video and if you do please click on that subscribe button and also don't forget to click on that like button thank you everyone have a nice day